who <coughs> cancer tarot card messages who is watching you and why i feel like you have i hear a generation so maybe someone in your family is watching you or a group or some people from your past energies um schoolmates family ex-mates a lot of people are watching you some of them are watching you obsessively some of them may be stalking you because they they know about your whereabouts some of them are secretly watching you thinking like hanging around you <clears throat> like thinking you don't know that they they thinking you don't know that they're watching you some of them are like um mockingly watching you like they have this little laugh energy within them as they watch you and maybe they think that they can make fun of you this is a masculine energy there's also a king of pentacles that is watching you i hear on your side you may think that this person is on your side they could be on your side you also have a mother energy watching you um you have also the mother energy of an ex watching you right so let's see who is watching you so the five of swords card um it's a lot of people from your past watching you evidently a lot of people that you stop talking to a lot of people that maybe spoke against you try to lie against on you you had to stand up and speak up for yourself with the five of swords card and you disconnected you may have like disconnected from some people in your past told the truth and like cut them off out of your life they're still lingering they're still around you they still haven't been like fully cut off so they may be watching you on your social media platforms and some of these people from your past that you're not speaking to they want to come back into your life they do not want to be released there's also a capricorn energy that's watching you this could be a love interest of yours this person is confused because they they don't know if you're into them or not someone maybe feel like you're feeling like you're giving them signals like a push and pull energy yeah for sure you have a capricorn and a mother energy watching you yes gratitude there's someone watching you intently closely someone is reading you up like they're watching you like they're studying you yeah in quest they're what they have certain questions about you or queries and they watch your energy they watch your platform to get information with the quest and enlightenment card some of these people they wanted to take you for granted and yeah they some of, some of them wanted to take you for granted and um that's how they wanted you to be in your life like a people pleaser weak not standing up for yourself not knowing the truth of who you are and just going along with their way so a lot of people in your life thought that you would make way for them make space for them over you put them in front of yourself and um yeah they are still they are watching you still because uh, maybe like i said with the five of swords card cancer yeah you trusted your instincts you stood up for yourself you did what you felt um spiritually too instinctively what was right for you on your journey it has a lot to do with your throat chakra you speaking up knowing yourself being real to yourself being independent knowing how to think for yourself and um stand on your own these could be two specific individuals. Yeah, um, the universe is asking you to trust yourself more, trust the process. You're going to make it through this phase if you're feeling a bit stuck or if you're not sure what to do right now, which re um, route to go on. Yeah, independence. You're going to get a vehicle or a car or you're going to be going on a train or some moving vehicle that's you're going to be making some some shifts in your life. This, these shifts are helping you to remember the truth of who you are and to come like reflect and like come to an understanding of uh, why it is that you are where you are now, who you are now. I'm also feeling some rewards and blessings are to come into your life. You have been pushed around, you know, even when you were going through school, through your family, because there were times when you really did not know who you were. There are their exes watching you because they you were in a relationship with them and you gave your all to them and they still I hear meager they still feel like they fed you or they still feel like they can 
get their way with you even though these people you haven't been speaking to them but i feel like you, they have the wrong idea of you you also have like um some authorities watching you as well keeping an eye on you for some reason maybe it's because of the things that you speak online some of them are watching your state as in your well-being to see how you're carrying on right so let's see who is watching you you may be in isolation. Someone um, may be in isolation watching you right now. This is a person that's like, they, they spend a lot of lonesome time looking at you, watching you. So we have the devil card next. I'm telling you, these people that are watching you are obsessed with you. For, you could be someone that you don't talk a lot. Maybe in isolation quite often. And um, people are just really interest, interested in your life. But I feel like they have means and access to watch you. The devil card is like an obsession. You could be dealing with a family member here. I feel like, um, or an ex, strong ex. You did something that they did not really expect you to do. Or they don't, they're just watching to see what it is that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. I hear you stand up for yourself, acceptance. I feel in reverse, they did not accept you often, despondence in reverse. They did not really care sometimes about your opinion about things. You also have your father watching you. Some of them told you that you were too emotional, you were too, um, it, you were too, you were holding on to things too much because you had your own ideas, you were too stubborn. They were telling you that's why things don't work out for you, that's why you have blocks in your life. All right, but you're doing your thing and finding your own way. Maybe that's why you're in isolation today. People may be feeling like, but anywho, the ancestors, feeling like you're not growing, but the ancestors are saying there is transformation taking place in your energy, in your money, in your awareness of self. So I know that good things are to come for you. But yeah, joy. Continue speaking the truth. There is a lot of joy out here for you. So gossip okay some of them want to talk about you they, they they delight in grouping people up to talk about you they want it they take pleasure in it the moon card is next five of swords devil card moon card hypocrites and hidden enemies that sneaking around watching you capricorn energy pisces energy no they're watching you and i'm getting mother energy father energy Sib sister all right and some members of your community from old so like it's like i said it's because of a particular stance or they don't know what it is that you're thinking so you may just not be very open right now you you with the fi um, five of swords card cancer you may just be pulling your energy back to preserve yourself maybe you have some trust issues maybe you feel like people um, did not treat you right people withheld information from you um you know that they t spoke behind your back you know that they also took from you and yeah so you're deciding to just to preserve yourself here and then to see what happens for you what work out for you in the end um, in the end, you're going to be finding your true self, finding love, grace, protection, and seeing grace in your life in a way that these people never made you feel before. Because you may, like your family, they disgraced you, your exes, all of them, even though I feel like you were trying to find goodness in yourself by being a good person, a people pleaser, a giver, you know. But they never made you see grace in yourself. They actually went the opposite way. So you had to go on this journey, this long journey, to go a journey on a journey that not a lot of people go on, and um, and find your own grace. How you see yourself, the beauty in yourself, perfection card, and this natural instincts energy. I feel like you're naturally beautiful too, all right. And people saw that in your past energy. So you're, you've been waiting for what is yours. You've been asking for it, praying for it. And what is yours is coming. How you see your, your life is about to change. Like you're going to have like this grand, great makeover from inside out energy. So be mindful of that. Five of Swords. You're about to also probably lo um, cut off some more X's in your life. 
people that don't like the changed version of you yeah magician oh my god now we have the devil card moon card magician this is something powerful and devious these some of these people that are watching you they've been doing spells on you they've been really trying to program you and they're monitoring you that's why they're really they keep a close eye on you because they've been doing things to you that um i hear karmics there's like one specific person i hear union they may be a part of the some um group uh, they may work in public service. They they can they are watching you obsessively. Still, they still feel like they can ma monitor you and handle you, Cancerian, and um, control your life sneakingly. These pe these hypocrites are sneakingly watching you. Um, they may be putting roadblocks in your way. They don't want to move out of your life at all. So they are sneakingly watching you. You can feel the energy of them sometimes in your energy these people don't want to let you go never i don't know how you're going to really distance yourself all when you think you distance yourself they're still watching you all right some of them think they own you they brought you here some of like i said i feel a strong mother energy watching you and for some of you this person is on the spiritual side i hear demons all right that magician let's see how they're watching you they pay for they pay people to get information on you they're watching you spiritually as well they're they're just always monitoring you and watching you in the dark in secret all right they they like they send spells your way or they put roadblocks in your way and then they watch you this person they may be watching you via camera or some spying energies they also have your family giving information on you they, ha they have close connections with a family member or a couple of their family members. And they are watching you on monitors, on a screen or something like that. Isopropyl. They don't want you to know. They're literally watching everything that you do. I know that this feels weird. Because this person, they feel like they're in control of you. They want to rule you and they're also obsessed with you. If you moved, this person wanted to move too, to like to come up, come around you and set things up in your vicinity so that they can keep an eye on you. I don't know what you're going to do. This is how I'm feeling like to really get your victim card, to get away from these monitors, these karmics, these exes that are attached to you. It is like they will follow you where you go. Even if they have their own lives and their own job, these these people make they watch you as if it is their duty to do so. Um, yeah, this is like a big operation. The ten of swords is next. This, like I'm saying, this person they spend all day watching you, obsessed with you, lying around and thinking about you. And the signals that they're, they're trying to send is to get your vibration low. They don't want you to go outside. They don't want you to ask any questions. They don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to be aware of anything. If you don't get any sun, they're fine with that. This is giving me true man show vibration. Someone is like monitoring every, every part, every detail of your life. They would prefer if you don't go outside. They'd prefer because something going on. Maybe your phone. They, they when you like your phone. I don't know, beautiful soul. Yeah, you're not. You may need to go to like a computer technician and ask them to check your devices or something like that. All right, and I feel like when you re reboot or restart your devices, someone still can um get into it in some way. Ten of Swords. They keep up with your family. They have like secret names and stuff messaging your family. Um, secret social profiles watching your family as well. Sending your family sneak secret messages just to try to get information on you. And uh, uh, ask me why. And even like, like I said, the family members of your ex are still watching you. Who is watching you? The Seven of Diamonds. They keep thinking. They watch you. They spy on you. They watch you. These are also people from work. These are relatives. Relatives of your father. Relatives of your mother. They're just, they watch you very, very closely. They're watching you because you may be on a self-discovery journey. Every time they click on your socials, they watch you. 
All right, that's that seven of pentacles energy. But then we have the deeper energy of the magician and the ten of swords of like something serious, like a serious watching and programming. And like they know when you're going to go out, they know when you come in. That's how I'm feeling like. And this is someone you're not speaking to. For some of you, this is a father figure or someone older than you, someone you knew since you were younger, someone that's been romantically interested in you in some way, shape or form. They have some type of a wrong idea about you, but it's giving obsession. Yeah, workaholic card. Obsession, abundance. This person, they want you. They This is a monitoring energy. They're like saying that they will never stop. That's the energy. All right. But this person, they feel like if they cannot have you, no one else can have you. They feel so like out of balance. They feel out of control because it's like they just, they also feel upset because they feel like they're, they're like hooked on you, stuck on you. And, um, you may want to move on, but this person's feeling like, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah, bittersweet. This person is saying, I'm not going to let you go. They are, you also have a mother figure that is doing magic on you. They are telling lies on you or trying to manipulate you, manipulate others about you. You're, and, and maybe telling lies on you to a man or to a father figure. And there's a masculine energy that is talking about you. There's so much going on in your life. With this devil card and the moon card and the magician. This is really serious. Someone also wanted to take their karma out on you. Someone wanted you to pay their bills. Someone wanted you to go to work and pay their bills. And this is this could be a person that said they love you. For some of you, this is like a, a masculine energy that is in devil um, card. And they, they want you to take care of them. Do like go out and work and take care of them. And they're actually neglectful. They're karmic. They're upset. They don't know how to control their emotions. They don't see the value in you, this person. Right? Because they don't see the value in themselves. This is the person that they're laying around in bed. And then they want to send you for some food. And send you for some water. And then you come home from work. And you go cook dinner. And they're still laying in bed. They literally don't care. This person's name could be June. That's who is watching you. Yeah, I feel like this reading is correct. Like everything I say, Ace of Wands is right. I'm also feeling as you come become aware, you're returning magic and karmic spells to someone that has been casting spells over you. Someone's been casting real deep spells on you. I think they don't want you to grow or go more in life. They don't want you to move away from them. This is a controlling karmic energy, even if it is a masculine or even if it is a parent. This person, they literally just want to control you, wrangle you. Um, they're, 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 they're doing spiritual work like fasting for you, crying, banning the belly for you, talking negatively about you, trying to like... They, this person has some deep, um, deep-seated emotions for you and they're keeping you stuck. Um, I hear gravel. They, you're gonna be, you're gonna be healing. If someone did something to, like they created some type of um thing in your midst, okay, to kind of hold you back, prevent you from moving forward. I hear celibacy. Someone, they don't want you to to be ruined. I'm hearing or to grow or to have any abundance and prosperity so this person they i feel they are jealous they're malicious and they're doing it just so that they can hold you back and they keep talking about you with family they're making it seem like you did something wrong to them so you deserve to suffer when all along they're really just jealous of you and they got an opportunity to in to like talk bad about you or bring you down or to try to get others to not believe in you too but it's like you didn't really do anything wrong they've just always been very jealous of you but i'm getting an energy where most is revealing this truth because you're about to be freed and you're about to have some 
redemption energy someone was jealous over you about a building a house a good man that you receive a new beginning plenty of money coming into your life feelings of like prosperity trickling into your energy so they felt entitled they felt this person felt very entitled to your inheritances to your happiness and they feel like you owed it to them someone saw you celebrating they saw good things happening things picking up speed i just feel like there was a time where you felt good about your inheritances your investments your money coming in i hear brinks and this person felt like a setback in their life watching you so they were they were waiting on an opportunity to set you back and take your place and put you down uh, you see when this person first thought of doing this they wondered how they're gonna successfully do it do it because you weren't doing anything wrong to them is how i'm feeling you were just thrilling exciting in your life basking manifesting and feeling good and this person was feeling like they're sort of in your shadows but they they did yeah they 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 weren't feeling emotionally good about themselves so they wanted to take that from you take your delight but you didn't know so when you if now you feel like you you have no delight in yourself this could be even a business idea that you had um this person wanted to come and take it over so like now you could feel like you're suffering and this person is happy because that was their intention all along to just have your energy have what you have and they don't really mind seeing you in the energy that they were in without happiness, without feelings of goodness within themselves. This person, and they will try to live your life. Like I say, though, they try to defame you. Like I say, and, get, and say good riddance. And, yeah, trample all over your energy like the queen from Snow White. They just, they were self, selfish, all the greedy all they thought about was their image and how they look and how they how people see them and think about them these people they wanted to be with your mates you know and then blame you because they don't want to allow themselves to be accountable or responsible so i feel like these are people you need to take your energy away from or maybe you already did so and that's why they're still watching you some of them feel like they have no access to you and they can't get any of your energy again. Like you just blam them, shut them out, block them, spoke the truth to them, speak up for them. Some of them are very afraid because they know that you found your power, you found your love. They always depended, relied upon you not knowing the truth of who you were so that they could easily crush you, belittle you yes snakes but they saw that you escaped that energy at a, t a point in your life where you weren't reliant on them or dependent upon them and you felt supreme and that's what they wanted to take away from you but like i said moses energy god is blessing you the rejection was for a reason they rejected you and then they talk they like they took from you they took your mates they get close to your person they want to let walk in your shoes and then they want to discard you at the same time. Some of them try to act like they care about you, but they, they can hear it in the tone of their voice, in their energy that they just want to disregard you. They wish you like never were around so that they could fully live in your life without feeling guilty or without seeing your face again. Some of them are using some type of a dark African magic and stuff like that, but they're acting like they're not. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Wands energy. Jealous feminines around you as well surrounding you. But I feel strongly like you're going to break free out of this energy. It's not going to remain forever. You're going to find your happiness, your thrill, your joy, your delight again. You're calling it back. You're taking it back to you. You're not going to let these people live your life. And as you do so, powerful woman, these people are feeling drained and they're going back to their true forms, right? They were like trying to like grow their hair off of your energy, make more money off of your energy, have a good looking physique off of your energy have good social standing with your energy like uh, make people like them like how people just naturally like you off of your energy while you were supposed to be put to the back drained and out and not and like undelightful 
that's what they wanted to make you seem like you were the trouble you were drama people should just get rid of you we'll get you out of here because you're a problem but that's who is watching you i'm telling you they're stalking you or watching you obsessed with you and their exes of your ex all kind of people um mother figures you may have a business too you may be mysterious you may be you love cats and animals they're very magical you're very beautiful very attractive okay um you know where you stand your throat chakra is open they were also jealous of your authenticity that's why they're watching you and they really cannot program you so let's see what's gonna work out for you yeah you're gonna have like you're gonna get your temple back your happiness back and this time i feel like they will not be able to take it from you because you're much more guarded and protected so take it easy out there and i will catch you into the next in the next one no weapons formed against you shall prosper um all the best all is within you like share comment subscribe and i'll have a good day